Hey guys, it's Pete Harmich here again. I'm um, just, I'm doing it, doing it again. I feel like God's, feel like God's placed, put something on my heart. I, I was just kind of sitting and thinking about some things and praying and, um, but listen to some, listen to some worship and prayer, whatever. Um, but as I was doing so and just kind of thinking and thinking about things and basically regarding some of the things I'm going, I've been going through lately between the quarantine and dealing with that, having trouble with my asthma and stuff like that. Um, the Lord really started to speak to me some things and I feel like God there, some of the things that God's God spoke to me in this look, just a little bit. I believe God's going to, I believe God can, God will speak to other people through it so this is why i'm doing this video tonight um anyway i was having, having some drop having a little bit of trouble and i had thought so many thoughts come going 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 through my mind like i mean i think we've all been there from time to time in the midst of things we've gone through that feeling of wanting to give up and Pretty much the title title of this video is "Have you ever felt like giving up?" We've all been there. There's been so many times in my own personal life that I felt I've wanted to give, I just wanted to give up and quit, throw in the towel, turn my back on God, and just say forget ev forget everything, and would be better that that would be better that if I wasn't around, and all that stuff. But. Every time I felt like giving up, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me and gave me a drive to keep, gave me a drive and a, and a desire to keep going. Like if I would have given, if there's been so many things I've been, that God, that God's brought me through in about 43 and a half years of life. Um, I mean, a lot of people would say, forget it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Turn, turn their back on God, turn their back on people, go, go become a hermit somewhere or say, and just want it, just want to say, forget it. I'm done. I'm ending it. But all, all, all the glory goes to Jesus that I'm still here. I'm still here. And that, that the Lord, the Lord helped me to not, not give up and not quit, not throw in the towel, not turn my back on God and all that. And like I said, we've all been there. I'm, I'm sure we've all been there. Just want, just want to give up. There's been times in my life. It's like, I'm all, I say, God wouldn't let me. It's like, there's, there's, Every time I wanted to give up, there's always some something. It's got God has a way of getting our attention, especially when we're at our lowest, some of the lowest, lowest times in our life. He he can remind you of something, like he could remind you of something that God spoke to you before, or remind you of something that He's done, or give you a vision, give you some sort of word from the Bible or something that speaks to you that you can carry and hold on to when you're going through a tough season. And I'll tell you the, in this, in this current se season of my, what I'm going, what I've been dealing with, just, I've, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a background on my, on, part of my testimony I've had asthma pretty much virtually all my life and this this current trouble that I've had was is probably the probably the worst trouble I've got I've had in ah oh goodness probably 10 15 20 years maybe some probably about 10 I'll say 10 we'll say 10 it's so it's been a while since I've had trouble like this 
but every time it's like but the, I, I was in the midst of going through a little bit of trouble. I'm okay right now. Thank God. And I know the Lord. I know I know I'm glad I'm able to rest and stuff like that. Anyway, when I was in, in the midst of having trouble, and it's like I, for some reason, I started thinking about all those times I've wanted to give up. Between dealing with all, all the times of having asthma and all the a lot of other things I've gone through in my, in my life, I've wanted to get I've wanted to give up. The Lord remind I'll tell you, let me tell you the some the, the thing that the Lord spoke to me tonight. I, he said, I'm not done with I'm not even close to being done with you yet. And I want to tell a lot. I want to tell you is anybody who's watching, anybody who's watching this, you feel like giving up. Don't even think about it. That is what the enemy would want you to do. He would want you to give up. He would want you to say, forget it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Throwing in the towel. Turn my back on God. And I'm going to end it. I'm done. Get me out of this. Get me out of this life. But that's and then the enemy trying to trying to get you to do that. That's that it is a lie from the absolute pit of hell. I know how that feels to have to have the enemy talking to me like that. Trying to get me to give up and quit. And I want to tell you. You you may you may be watching this. You feel like you're giving up. Don't don't do it. The Lord is not done with you yet. There is a there's a plan. There's a purpose, a calling, and a destiny that God has placed on every single one of your lives. He does not want you to give up. He does not He does not want you to quit. He does not want you to throw in the towel. He does not want you to turn your back on him. He does not want you to end it. He does not want you to. And I'm just one just want to tell just want to just feel him to tell you is please don't give up. Please don't give up. People 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 will fail you, but I'm I'm going to tell you one thing right now. You may Jesus will never fail you. We may, you may, we may be going through such, go, we may go through lots of di- crazy situations, but I can look back at everything that I've been through in almost 44 years of life. I can see the hand of God in it, carrying me through every single thing. And in the midst of the Lord's, everything I've been through, the Lord's spoken to me and done done a work in my heart and done a work in my mind and that 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 working that God wants to do in your heart and mind that's going to continue that's going to that's going to continue it's like it's all part of that renewing of your mind okay um and i just really felt to i really felt to share, share that really quick tonight while um because people need to know to not give up. People need to know don't quit. People need to know do not throw in the towel. People need to know please do not turn your back on him. He loves every single one of us. You may not think so, but he does. Um and I want to I'm going to I'll want to say one quote that I'll tell you this quote the first time I heard it it changed my life I'll tell you that right now I was watching the ESPY awards based um, on basically a sports awards show on ESPN years ago I forget how long ago it was was when I was watching it but this guy this guy said a quote that just totally it it smacked me upside the head, got my attention, and it changed my life. 
because I was in the time I was in one of those times when I wanted to give up and quit. The Jim Valvano, he's he's he passed away a long all years ago. He had a really bad really bad struggle with cancer, and he was the head basketball coach of the men's basketball team for North Carolina State. And he said this quote, don't give up. Don't ever give up. He had, he went, he was going through cancer and he had such a drive. He wanted, he did not want to give up. He fought. And I know several dear friends of mine that who I've went, went to be with the Lord in recent years, who've been through major battles with cancer, and they fought till the bitter end. Let me tell you something. Jesus wants us to fight for the till the bitter end, and even more so, He will fight for us. We call on Him; He will fight for us. He will, He will, He will, He will be right there in the midst of no matter what situation that you are going through right now. You feel like you want to give up and quit. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Because he has a purpose and a calling and a plan for all of our lives. And he, and he, want, he wants us to be here to be, able to, to be able to accomplish those things. And to, give, to get, first and foremost, give him all the glory. For people to come, people to come to know him and have a relationship with him, and just we just need, we can't give up, guys. We can't give up. There's a lot of you. So God's brought you some. Some a lot of you. God's brought you. I always say this. Um, I want the in the midst of the times that I've wanted to give up. It's like the Lord reminds me, he's brought me through too much and taken me too far for me to give up now. And a lot of, there's some people, there's people that will be watching this. The same thing holds true. God has brought you through too much and taken you too far for you to give up now. He does not want you to give up. He doesn't want any of us to give up. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pray real quick. Lord God. You've given me this little exhortation, Lord God. Lord God, in the midst, there's so many people going through so many crazy situations, and people they and there's so many people they feel like they want to give up. Lord God, I pray you'd meet each and every person that feels like they feels like they want to give up and throw in the towel, turn their back on you. Say, forget everything, forget God, forget people, forget life, and want to end it. Lord God, wherever they're, wherever they're at, whatever, in whatever situation, whatever struggle, whatever trial, whatever battle they're going through in their mind, God. Lord God, I just pray that you would, um, <clears throat> that you would meet, meet those people right where they're at, that they when they when they're having those to those thoughts of wanting to give up and quit lord god i i just pray lord god you would help them you would help them lord god meet them where they're at show show yourself so real and so strong to them lord god give them that that drive and that resolve to not give up and to turn to you in the midst of whatever situation that they're going through Jesus, I thank you. I just thank you, Lord God. I just pray you would you would touch each every person that's that that's watching this video live, and whoever whoever will watch watch later on via Facebook, and then eventually I'll be uploading this to YouTube as well. Lord God, touch people's hearts right where they're at, Lord. In your precious name, Amen. Um, before I end the before I end this short video, like I've always like I've always done and like I've always done, if you watch you watch this video whether live 
or or later on and this message is message is speaking to your heart and getting and getting your attention and you feel like you want to give up and don't have anywhere to turn first off turn to Jesus and if you want prayer prayer in regards to this message and God speaking to your heart and you feel like you want to give up and you need prayer please like like or comment on this post or send me a message on Facebook I'd be more than happy to pray for you um, I just pray I just pray all of God's best for each and every one of you that watch that watch this video and I pray you all have a good rest good rest of your night God bless you